what is up guys this is Felix and today I'm going to show you how to make some super slow motion right here in Cinema 4D without any plugins whatsoever I'm going to show you a quick example of, uh, of the effect that we're going to be creating here yeah um, that was just a quick example uh, you know nothing too fancy or special or anything just to show you the actual effect so so you know what you're getting into um, uh, okay so let's go ahead and create a plane alright and wanna make this a bit bigger so we can press T to bring up the scale tool the zoom out and just drag to the right to scale it up <coughs> you can also go here to the object properties and change the width and height um, alright so uh, let's create a cube and we want to go to our right view press E to bring up the move tool just move it up a bit like so Yeah. back through the perspective view here and you want to select your cube uh, click plugins and choose Throwsy. Alright, so if you don't already have this plugin, uh, I really suggest you go download it. As I've said before, uh, it's a great plugin. Um, I'm gonna leave a download link below, hopefully. <laughs> okay, so let's type in a hundred pieces here. And my computer's probably gonna lag a bit, uh, so I'll be back in a sec. Nah, it doesn't seem to be lagging anything here. You don't wanna, you don't wanna type in too many pieces, or uh, you might risk that, uh, you know, that Cinema 4D is gonna crash basically. So try to avoid that. Um, yeah. All right so if you open this fracture object you can see all the pieces here with uh, the in and out materials uh, and selection tags and whatnot alright um, <clears throat> so if we play the animation now uh, this cube is just gonna crumble uh, basically but it's gonna fall through the plane so we wanna click on the plane right click on the plane go to MoGraph tags and grab a rigid body All right. Uh, so let's play the animation. All right, yeah, it basically just crumbles. We can uh, we can actually go into the rigid body tags here for the fracture object. So click on the rigid body and uh, go down to the trigger and change it from immediately to on collision so when we play the animation it's not gonna crumble and um, I, I maybe I should uh, show you how to make uh, like an object be, to be affected by gravity so uh, if I grab a text object here if I drag it up a bit and give it a rigid body it's gonna be affected by gravity and it's gonna fall down to the ground like so Yeah, you could see it started interacting with our cube here. Okay, but let's delete this real quick. But if you choose a sphere, you put it up here. And uh, let's see what happens if we give this a rigid body. And play the animation. Nothing happens. It's it's still there. Um, uh, and you can, actually, you can actually go into MoGraph grab a cloner object, put the sphere into the cloner object I'm going to move this up a bit and now we have three copies here three clones and you want to set this to one alright so it, now we just got the sphere and you want to right click on the cloner object alright go down to MoGraph tags and choose a rigid body alright let's see what happens now yeah it is affected by gravity and it's interacting with our cube here as expected um, so uh, let's push this up a bit let's go to the first keyframe push this up a bit 
oh well the first frame um, alright so um, so wanna we actually don't have to keyframe anything right now but what's gonna happen now it's just this is good this uh, sphere is just gonna drop here and basically like crush the cube um, but we want some slow motion some super slow motion actually about right here or you know kinda kinda here um, so let's go to edit and go all the way down to our project settings you can also click control D to bring up this and here you can change a bunch of uh, different settings and whatnot but we are going to go to mo dynamics and we're going to mess a bit with the time scale so um, uh, the default here is one uh, everything runs on a hundred percent speed when it's on one uh, and if you if you uh, set that to 0 0.5 it's gonna run at uh, 50 percent speed um, so let's see here we uh, let's go to frame I don't know 30 36 yeah 36 and then you wanna control click on this little thingy there <laughs> uh, to the left and now we created a keyframe uh, the problem with this is that we can't see it so we're just gonna have to memorize that on frame um, 36 we have a time scale keyframe on one and let's go two frames forward or something uh, three frames and now we want to set this to 0 0.05 that's gonna be really slow here and I also created a keyframe there by control clicking let's zoom in a bit here alright and play the animation yeah you see what see what happened there you got the slow motion you can set this back to time scale one if you want it to be at a hundred percent speed again um, so um, uh, you can mess with this and you know you'll have to be creative on your own I'm just showing you the basic technique and how to do it uh, so uh, you know if you come up with something cool using this uh, this effect here the super slow motion effect in cinema 4d uh, you know uh, uh, upload it to YouTube why not what the hell you know and uh, post it as a video response and uh, other than that guys uh, thanks for watching and see you later